Hi everyone, I'm Eileen from Raycraft Books, and this is Raycraft Books Storytime. Welcome back. Today we're going to be reading A Bicycle in Beijing, written and illustrated by Da Wu Yu. Da Wu Yu is an internationally renowned, award-winning Chinese painter. His works are shown all over the world. And maybe one day, you and I will get to see some of his paintings in person. But until then, we can enjoy his work in a bicycle in Beijing. So let's go see how his art and his words come together to make a wonderful story. Here we go. When I was a little boy, my family lived in a hutong in the Anding Ming neighborhood of Beijing. Every day after school, I did my homework. Then I ran outside to play with my friends in the hutong. Every day was the same. But one day, everything changed. When I got home from playing, I found a shiny green bike parked in our yard. Back then, most families were not lucky enough to have a bike, especially such a beautiful one as this. I couldn't stop staring at it. But this bike was not for me. My dad was going to use it to get to work. Please, Dad, I begged. Let me ride it. Dad didn't answer. But then I saw a little smile sweep across his face. My heart pounded. I grabbed the handlebars and wheeled the bike out of the yard. My friends came running. They all stared at the shiny green bike. Above me, birds flew. Their chirps sounded like cheers as I practiced riding in my hutong. It didn't take me long to figure out how to steer, but I was too short to sit on the seat and reach the pedals. I had to stand instead. My friends, Zhao Peng and Zhao Peng, ran after me, shouting with joy. I went faster and faster. Suddenly, the bike started to tip, flop. Before I knew it, I was flat on the ground. My pants had torn, my knees were bleeding as well. If mom saw them, she would know I had been riding too fast. So I snuck home in a hurry and sewed up my pants. That wasn't the only time I got hurt riding my dad's bike, but I didn't care. Sometimes I even rode with no hands. Zhao Peng and Zhao Peng learned to ride the, the bike too. All through the summer, we took turns riding it in the hutong. I grew taller and taller. One day I sat on the seat and could reach the pedals with my tiptoes, almost like a grown up. My chest puffed with pride. Sit on the bike racks while I pedal, I told Zhao Peng and Zhao Peng. It will be just like we're acrobats in the circus. We turned the corner, laughing, but I was going too fast. The bike started to wobble and wham! The bike landed hard. The chain fell off, it fell off the gears, the wheels bent. We had to drag the bike home. Its loud creaks filled our ears and echoed like cries through the hutong. I hung my head and waited for dad to yell at me. But when I peeked up at him, he just frowned at the bike and clicked his tongue. That night, dad stayed up late, silently fixing the bike. 
That was not the last time I broke dad's bike. Sometimes he didn't find out until the next morning. Then he had to go to work on foot. But he was never as quiet about it as he was that first time. Many years later, Zhao Peng and Zhao Peng and I still talk about our childhood. We remember all the fun we had and laugh about our days in the Hutong, riding around on dad's shiny green bicycle. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. You can see more of our books at www.raycraftbooks.com and you can listen to more stories at our Raycraft Books channel, our YouTube channel. So please join us and please write in if you want to hear anything special or hear a story that you heard before that you'd like to hear again. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you next time.